Hi there, welcome to the FFML videos. In this video, we are going to go through the use case example for tuning models. We'll be looking at how to tune models by mutating configs manually and using tuners. If you want to go through a detailed description about importing packages, downloading datasets, and loading them into the sources plugins, you may go ahead and watch the video on it, which will be also linked in the description. For this video, we are going to head straight into creating our models. The first step here is to instantiate the model. We can use the model.load function to load any model in the DFFML API by passing its entry point. To find out about all the entry points, you can go ahead and check out the model plugins in documentation. Here you can see that all the uh, entry points are given for every model. So once the model is loaded, we instantiate it with the appropriate parameters. This includes a list of all the features in the dataset, the target feature, and the location or directory to save the model in. You may also add any hyperparameters here. For model-specific parameters, you can check out the documentation of that specific model. Once the model has been instantiated, it's ready to train now. We will use the high-level API to do this. Note that we also use the unpacking parameter, uh, unpacking operator here uh, to pass each record in our dataset as a separate argument. Once the model is trained, uh, we test our model using the accuracy method from the high-level API. <clears throat> to assess the accuracy, we need to load and instantiate a scorer as well. Let's use the cycle classification accuracy scorer uh, by the entry point AC scorer. You can find more scorers and their entry points on the documentation as well. As you can see, different scorers are provided on this page and their entry points are mentioned as well. Uh, for this example, we will be using the AC score, scorer. Once we have the score entry point and uh, we instantiate the score, uh, we pass the model, the score, the target feature, and our unpacked test dataset to the accuracy function. And uh, we get an accuracy of 0 0.75. Since we didn't pass any hyperparameters at the time of instantiation of the model, it was trained on default values of the model. Let's try to tune it with a good old-fashioned hidden trial method. Uh, we can mutate the hyperparameter values by changing them in the config. However, you might want to refer to the model's documentation first to see which of the hyperparameters are mutable. So here we use the context manager uh, to allow the mutation of the config and we set values for parameters of interest. Let's once again train and uh, train our model and calculate the accuracy. And would you look at that? we successfully decrease the accuracy of our model. Well, uh, we can try a couple other values uh, in the spirit of hidden trial method. So let's just change a few values in front of And let's do it again. Now, we see that uh, it, it increased a little, but it's still lower than uh, the accuracy on default parameters. Well, uh, this could take all day. Fortunately uh, for us, DFFML has the perfect solution. We can use tuners to tune the model for us. Uh, for the sake of this example, uh, we'll be using uh, the parameter grid tuner. Parameter grid takes a grid of different uh, hyperparameters and as many values as you want to tune from. You pass in all the relevant data such as uh, the model, the target feature, the score, the train data, and the test data and it tunes the model against the hyperparameter grid, sets the model hyperparameter uh, train, uh, set the model to the hyperparameters that are the tuned hyperparameters, and trains it and gives you the tuned accuracy. Now, as you can see, uh, all the permutations of the parameter grid that we sent into the function, it's checking out all the accuracies and will provide you with the best version of the model. Let's just wait it out. I've actually enabled this info STD out 
so that we can see what's going on inside the function. We're getting the logs of every permutation. Okay, so here we have the results. Uh, the optimal optimal hyperparameters are learning learning rate 0 0.4 and estimators 150 and max depth 4. Accuracy optimized of the uh, of the optimized model is 0 0.60. So there we have it, and our model is set as well. Now uh, here is a small visualization of our model, that our untuned model and the tuned model, and we can clearly see that the accuracy increased here. I hope everything was clear up till now and that this tutorial was helpful. Uh, feel free to uh, open issues on our GitHub if you have any queries or you can also reach us out on the Gitter community. Thank you.